So today I want to do a overview and a quick demo of how to get up and running with Rainbow Kit in your application. Rainbow Kit is a library that was released yesterday, May 5th, 2022 by the Rainbow Wallet team that offers a really slick experience for user experience in the application as well as developer experience in the application for implementing wallet sign-in as well as identity. And after using it, I thought it was uh, such a great experience and it was really easy to do. Figured I'd just throw together a quick video to kind of show you how that looks. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started writing some code. So I'm gonna start off in an empty Next.js directory and we want to go ahead and just kind of install the dependencies that are necessary to get up and running. So I'm gonna go to view the docs and um, in the installation instructions, you kind of have everything you need to get up and running. So I'm just gonna start copying and pasting. So I'm gonna say yarn add that. And I'll go ahead and open up a separate window and open up this code in my text editor. All right, next we'll jump back into the docs and we'll go ahead and start importing some stuff. So here I'll go ahead and import um, everything that's listed there. And we're gonna do this in pages slash underscore app.js. So we're importing the styling, we're importing the imports from Rainbow Kit. And then we're also importing some things from WAGMI, which is a Web3 React Hooks library. Um, next we'll go to our configuration imports and I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that as well. And the only thing that we need to consider is our um, environment variable. So you can use different providers. So you can use Alchemy or you can use Infura or the other ones that they have listed. Let's see here, the ones they have here. So they support a handful here. Um, so back to where we were though, what we need to do is basically set that environment variable. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that now. And let me see the name of it. It's going to be under alchemy underscore ID. All right, so we have that set. And we're going to go back here. And now we need to go ahead and set our providers. So we just want to wrap our main component with the um, WAGMI provider as well as the Rainbow Kit provider. So for us, that's gonna be like right here. So we're gonna basically return that and then I'll delete this component and drop it right here. And save that. And now to use this, all we need to do is import this connect button. So I'm gonna go into index.js, import the connect button, and I'll just use the connect button. I'll just do this under this right here. So if I go ahead and run the app, we should be able to test this out. So I'm gonna do npm run dev. And we can now go to localhost 3000 and see if this is working. All right, so our app is loaded. So now we see this connect wallet button. So we're gonna click that. And you now see we have this really nice UI. I click on MetaMask and we're, we're connected. Now, um, I think I'd connected earlier via the same address. So let's, let's try that again where we actually choose the address. So you see like the address pops up and stuff. And that literally took us just a few lines of code and a few seconds to do. Um, if you remember a year ago, building this type of interface would have taken you I mean, obviously like hours, but probably days or even weeks. So it's really cool to have something like this that's just so easy to use. And we can also do a lot with it. So like you can do a custom connect button where you have control over, um, here it is right here, where you have control over pretty much all of the props. Um, there's a lot of customization going on in, in other different areas that I haven't really explored yet. The theming though is pretty sweet. So it's really uh, simple to kind of like import the let's say like dark theme or midnight theme so we'll go back here and we'll import from rainbow kit dark theme and midnight theme 
And then if we want to use one of these themes, all we need to do is just drop it here in the provider saying the theme is equal to the midnight theme and invoking that. And then if we go back to our app, you'll see that we have like this new theme. And if I go ahead and like disconnect, I can, actually I can disconnect here, I think. Um, looks like maybe that's some type of bug or something, but uh, I should be able to disconnect and then refresh. And then when we click this button now, you'll see that I have this, uh, this new theme. And that was really, really easy to do, right? So I think that's, that's pretty awesome. I was pretty stoked to kind of, um, you know, be able to try this out finally after I've been hearing quite a bit about it. And I really, really liked it. So I figured I'd just throw this video together. So that's really about it. I just wanted to kind of check it out and show you how it looks. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe we'll uh, like and subscribe for future videos. So thanks for checking this out.